Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number 7. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Right, so I think today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this French Championship. Um, so we need a vehicle from France, which our trusty Renault should be. Yes, there it is. Right, so we're going to pick that car. How much would it cost if we wanted to sell it? 16,000 and we spent like 100,000 on this. That's not a lot. That sounds good though. That sounds very good. Right, so we are going on to the Circuit de la Sarthe, the one with the chicanes, I think this is. Um, yeah, 2009. Right, so we are here at the Circuit de la Sarthe. Uh, this actually l literally took like two minutes to load this track because it is such a big track. Right, come on, Cleo. Let's do this. We've got Renault McGann there as well. Oh, squeeze through there, squeeze through there. That's a Renault Turbo. Jeez, we've got all sorts of cars in this. But the Clio will be the best. Oh. Very sideways there. Right onto first corner. Oh, nearly lost control there. Nearly lost control again through there. Perfect. Hopefully the car gets a little bit more controllable when the tyres warm up. Because they are in a cold state at the moment. Onto the brakes, perfect, around this corner. Nice. Onto the main straight. Here comes the first chicane section. Oh. There we go, perfect. Five point seven seconds ahead of the cars behind. Breaking through here now. Onto the brakes. Very nice. There's a lot of power going through these wheels. These rear wheels. Uh, I actually checked. It's got 322 horsepower. The car stock pretty much had like 220. So we've pushed about 100 horsepower out of this thing. Nice, 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 nice. Where are the cars behind? They're nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen whatsoever. We're right, going through the final section. We should be back at the start line by about five minutes. Nice. 
very good through this section here. Right, we're coming up to the corners, the, the sort of part where there's loads of corners in this section. And sort of coming back to the circuit as well. Because the rest of that was almost like on road, but this is now the circuit section. chicane now. Oh, drifting through there. Nice. In style. And across the line, 5 minutes and 7.609 for that track. It's a very good time. Let's have a look, see how much money we earn from that. 10,250. Very nice. On to the next track. Right, so we are here at the circuit of Madrid. We've got three laps. Let's do this. Hopefully the little Renault Clio can do a lot getting around this track. Go, go, go. Nice. This car's quick around here. Onto the brakes. Nice. Perfect. Awesome. all around there. I don't know if this is a real track or not, um, but it is a nice track. Look at the scenery and the car is sliding everywhere. That extra, ha extra horsepower has just pushed the car over the edge to towards uncontrollable. Oh, look at this. Look at the scenery. Oh, nice. A little bit of a slide going through there. Look at the cars coming past. Perfect. done. I think we went around that corner without completely ruining the car. I do feel like I may need to use, um, set up the triggers so I can accelerate with either the triggers or the X button because I feel like the X button is sort of like nostalgia playing this, but sometimes you do need triggers for those fine adjustments. 
Nice. And here's the first lot of cars coming past. Whoa. Very wide. Right onto lap number three. Awesome. Nicely done. Here we go. Slide sliding around the place there. Coming up to this final chance of coming onto the chicane. Ah, uh, we've done the slide thing again. Twice in a row we did that. But here we go across the line. 141.996. Nice. Right. Uh, let's see how much money we got from that. Do, do. 10 grand. Very nice. Right, so I think what we're going to do next is we're going to go and try out some NASCAR techniques. Um, we've obviously done the NASCAR, I think it was the second episode it might have been. Maybe the third. Um, but we did NASCAR then. Um, so let's go and try the NASCAR out again. Um, I think we've unlocked the... Oh, what's that? Slighty. Oh, two new vehicles. Nice. Right, let's go to special... And Jeff Gordon NASCAR School. So we can do the intermediate now. Which gives us um, inside driving, outside driving. So we're learning different types of techniques now. Let's go. Right, so we are here at the Daytona Super Speedway. So it says when overtaking another car on the inside of a corner, you need to keep the inside line while losing as little speed as possible. Okay. Interesting. Get ready. Careful. Oh, okay, there's cones there. Never mind, ignore me. <laughs> Don't Ready? copy that. Oh. Oh, this is... Oh, it was so it. close. Can be difficult for anyone to handle. It's a lot of Get power ready. in this thing. If you look at the inside of the car, though. Try this view. Oh, still a bit too far over. Delicate control. I am trying to like flat out do Ready. this. Maybe buttons might work better. No, they work worse. Oh, so close. Good Silver job. though. I will take that. Silver is a very good score. I think we can do one more attempt, maybe. Try and be a little bit smoother. We got 31,000 for that. But we could get so much more money. So, let's try. Are you ready? Oh, so close. We got disqualified again. Unbelievable. Are you ready? Right, final attempt. Nah. 
I can't get that line just right. Right, let's go on to the next one then. Right, so we are here on Indianapolis, on the Indianapolis circuit. And we are going to be doing the inside driving again. Um, but this one, the corners aren't banked to steep, so we can't take these corners at full speed. Ready? Which is interesting. Yeah, like that. So we have to slow down. Ready. And it's just working out the point at which we do have to slow down. Bronze. Like that. That's not good. Um, I have a feeling maybe if we break a little bit later then. We can always give it a try. Because it doesn't hurt to try over and over again. Level 12 though. Very nice. Ready? Yep, we are ready. Ah, uh, so close. Not bad. 10.873 we got. Right, let's try once more time. One more time. Let's go. Are you ready? Too wide. Get ready. Slower. You're doing well. I I'm not doing well. How am I slower through that? Right, let's go again. One more try. Obviously, the whole point of this game Ready. isn't to get it done in, like, first time. You're supposed to practice and... Yeah, that was terrible. You're supposed to practice and get better. But Ready. obviously, in a video, I can't be doing this for half an hour, so... Ready. Let's go. Too fast again. Oh, I exited by accident. Right, one more try. We'll do one more attempt. Are you ready? Don't hit the cones. I'm trying not to. <laughs> Are you ready? Right. Okay, so the key is to not lift to the steering, so you stay at as much lock as possible. If you release it, you lose it. 10.893. Just like that. I can't get it quicker. I can't get it quicker. Right, that's going to be it for that one then. We'll go on to the next one. Exit. Right, so we are here on Daytona and we are now doing the outside driving. So we're not allowed to touch the barrier or the cones in the middle. Ready? So we gotta be very accurate here. Oh I did touch the outside then. Try that again. Disqualified. Oh, we didn't get a fast enough time, that's why. Ooh, crap. Ready? The time is very close, I've just noticed. No way, silver. Nice. Nice! Silver. We are that close as well to um, getting gold as well. 0 0.075 seconds. 116,000 credits though. That is nice. Right, we'll give it a couple more tries because obviously the episode's quite short at the moment. Uh, here we go. Let's go. Did you mess up somewhere? No, I definitely didn't just hit like three or four cones. Are you ready? Remember, the car is heavy. 
the car is heavy. Get ready. You don't need my steering. Here we go, here we go. Oh, so close. That was going really well. I think we can do it again. Ready. Right, go. Oh, we've hit the outside wall there. Yeah, too much speed lost. Let's try again. I'm trying to do like Ready? minute movements on the thumbstick. Like that, there we go. Oh, it did get quicker. 13.252. Maybe one more attempt, we can do it. Let's go. Ready. Oh, so close. It was going so well. Ah, oh, once more. Come on. We are so close. Ah, oh, it was doing so well. Congratulations. Ah, oh, if we hadn't have crashed, we would have gotten that. I can guarantee you would have gotten that. Right, on to the next one and final one then. Right, so we're looking at an 11.1 .1 or an 11.2, so very close for that silver bracket. But let's do this. Ready? We've got to stay on the outside. Obviously, there isn't much bank into this corner, which means you have to slow down using your brakes. And that was terrible. We're not even bothering crossing the finish line going through that cutscene again. Ready. Okay, we went too far around the outside. Ready. No way, did we just get gold? Wow. Hey, gold medal. That's how it's done. Hey. Woo. Now that is how you get a gold medal. 57,000 just for getting gold for that. Nice. I think I should probably aim and try and get gold on the rest of those. That was pretty decent though that time. I'm proud of that time. Right, so for our final challenge of this video, we're going to be going back to the top gear test track doing the intermediate level. And this time we've got a Lotus Elise 11... Wait, 111R. Uh, and this one's from 2004, so let's go and do this. Right, so we are here on the Intermediate Lotus Elise Challenge. We've got to come first for gold, third for silver, fifth for bronze. Let's go. Little Lotus Elise, do us proud. What was that? Oh my gosh, the car was in the way. So we're not allowed to have any form of contact with other cars. That's weird because the camper van was good. I've done it again. How <laughs> have I smashed into the back of the same car? Right, so we're not going to be able to follow the driving line through that section by the looks of it. That driving line obviously messes us up. Oh, nearly went off the road there, right. Oh. A little bit of contact through there. Whoa! Tried to spin me out there. Oh, we've 
got interior for this car. Right, that was good overtake through there. Perfect, come on, come on, nice. Alright, keeping it behind this car. What are you doing? Stop trying to pit maneuver me. What? He pulled out in front of me. Unbelievable. Right, let's try again. Hopefully that car doesn't try and sabotage my run again. Nice. Nicely round the inside there. already. Nice. Go. Maybe a possibility for this. Right, just got to watch out for stray flying cones. Very nice. Fourth. Five seconds behind first place at the moment. We have three cars to overtake. This next car gets us the silver, and that red car gets us the gold. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, you don't need to break through there, trust me. We do need to slow down through there. Right, yellow car, come on, come on. You're going to break very early. And we're going to slow down a little bit late. Turn! God, that was close. Woo! Right, red car left. I didn't see that at least to the side of me. Why were you still there? Perfect. Come on. Hey, first place. Let's get that gold. How much money did that get us then? That must have got us a fair amount. Look at the gap, 0 0.05 seconds and then the next one was 2.1. That was awesome. And 40,000 credits. We're up into the 200,000s now. Awesome. And we're up to level 13, which I think unlocks something else as well. Um, what I am going to do, because we haven't been to the home screen yet, I'm going to see if we've unlocked any cars. Because we could have unlocked some extra cars for getting gold on that. Um, hopefully we did. If we didn't, we didn't. If we did, we did. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go back to the home and let's see. AMG Driving Academy is now available. Nice. And the Grand Tour is also available. So we'll check that out in the next one. And for getting gold in the... Uh, Top Gear event, we got the Lotus Elise Type 72. 
What's that? Oh, we've got a 2CV. <laughs> we got a Citroen 2CV sat in there. Um, is this the Lotus that we just drove? Because I thought the one we drove was the... Uh... It looks like it. This looks different. Oh. That's an interesting engine noise. Okay. Yeah, I, do I don't like the engine noise. I didn't like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places. And also, we have finally got merch down there, so go check that out. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.